Oh, it's wonderful. Um, it's my first experience with snow, so I'm having a ball. For this group of teachers and administrators from the Central American country of Belize... I like that. <laughs> Good. Now me. The springtime snow of Colorado was a slight diversion from the educational challenges they face in their small, impoverished country. Oh, I just love it. This is like a special treat. But the treat they truly experience... Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. I'm Liz Fagan. ...is to meet and learn from top-notch educators from the Douglas County School District. It's wonderful. This group is part of the Belize Education Project, started by Mammoth Elementary first grade teacher Jean Kirshner seven years ago. And for those seven years, the BEP has been helping a relatively small contingency of schools. That was until this year when officials from the Ministry of Education in Belize recognized the value of this project, whose focus is providing teaching techniques and supplies so that all children of Belize may fully understand the power of their literacy. I've learned a new strategy to help my kids when I go over to Belize to make writing fun for them. Through discussion, 47% of our teachers are not trained. And observation, to see if you can figure out what the lesson is that they are trying to teach us. The teachers of Belize continue to gather as much information. Tell me what you notice when you're taking your picture walk. All the while diligently taking notes to help them tackle the challenges that lay before them upon their return. Using the same, don't judge the people. They even take time to directly interact with students and put some of their newly learned information to use. Personally, I've gained a lot of classroom management. We're not only listening, but we're seeing how it has been done, so it's, it has been of a great help for us. Your job right now is to do a one-minute picture walk. Administrators and teachers from the Douglas County School District agree that the visit and the project has benefited their students as well. We talk a lot about our students being globally competent. We talk about all these skills we want them to have, and us modeling that mm -hmm. is, is just the highest level that we mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. offer. It's a rainbow after a storm. And though all of those involved in the Belize Educational Project can agree that significant progress is being made, they also agree that there is still much more work ahead of them. Our teachers struggle with methodology, with pedagogy, knowing how to teach, how to get concepts across, and so I think we've all learned a lot. I think our schools will be better off because of this visit and the, and the lessons that we have seen.